So let's look at ANDS++, which is a methodology to find and create a watch list for trading for the next day. So this video I'm recording on Sunday, but this is for Monday's watch list basically. So we'll create a watch list and I'll show you step by step how you can do this. This is a little bit like elbow grease kind of a method where you need to put in some effort uh, as against the scans which you can use to narrow down the universe very easily. So let's start by looking at uh, the TC2000 and on the bullish side, we are looking at liquidity is true, price above $5, average C7 by average C65 above 1.05. That's the momentum condition. And buyout true is to just eliminate stocks which have been bought out and which are going sideways. So you see that you're looking at 698 stocks to the plus side. Now, in order to reduce your effort and look at the one which are like most likely, you sort it by NC, which is absolute C minus C1. So the lower the NC, um, the stock didn't make much move for the day, right? And so let's start by looking at these stocks and we're looking for a setup where the stock is likely to break out. Now, this is the kind of thing which you want to avoid where the stock is just going sideways because it is a buyout, right? Or in the pharma was bought by some other company. Right, so you have this stock which is going sideways, aerospace, so first cut, you can select a lot of stocks. Second cut, which I do in the morning, is where I'll be more ruthless and reduce my universe to just four or five stocks, which I am interested in. Like this stock is having an orderly pullback, basically, you can put it there. Rhythm, it's going sideways after the first leg. So, Patterson, PTL. So sometimes like an app, uh, you might select a stock and later in the morning you can reduce the universe by looking at the one which are the best setups. Essentially, I narrow it down to just like uh, uh, three or four candidates and those are the high probability one which I focus on. So Reliance, uh, Reliance still here like it's going sideways. I typically avoid like REITs and utilities and all because they're not very explosive. They don't make explosive moves from uh, their consolidation because they, inherently they are slow moving stocks, right? So, Banco Satander. And once you get good at it, you can go really fast and find setups very quickly because uh, you know what you're looking for, that particular pattern, if it shows up, then only you stop. Uh, now this is a buyout again. This is a buyout, right? Typically what I do is if there is a buyout, then I mark it with XXX so that next time it shows up in a scan, you're not getting distracted by that particular stock. Now this is a very good breakout, like this is a very good setup. It in fact had a breakout on Friday, but then it went back, but it can still break out from that. See, so very orderly first leg, sideways move, had a very compact like and I moves for last three, four days. So whenever you see triple X, that means like and it's a buyout and I have marked it based on a buyout news, basically. Sir, yes.
the reason why I didn't select that AIC, why ACI is also because there is a, uh, they're trying to sell themselves. So those kind of things are like an event driven kind of thing. So I just like an, a not really comfortable getting into them because they can be very volatile. Oxy, that's a good setup. And if the market is about to make a move, you will see that there are a lot of anticipation setup uh, will start forming. And that's the first hint that it is ready to go and make a next leg. Uh, so just doing this every day also tells you something about the market as to whether it is ready for a next up leg or it is just going sideways. That's orderly pullback. I don't know this I'll have to check. I think it's it might be a buyout. So always uh, check the news. But at, uh, as of now, I'll put it. I always look at two things to look at when you have this watch list is when is the earnings due? If the earnings is due in next two or three days, I'm not going to get into it and if it is a buyout because you don't want to get into buyouts merger acquisition buyouts these are not places where you i have at least any age and i don't think individual speculators or individual traders have an age in that uh, because uh, if a company is being bought out at a certain price there is no need for it to go up or go down and you can just be getting into things which are not going to move And there is an easier way to do this by using just the scan which I run during the day or also you can see I did a video a couple of days ago or weeks ago showing you how to find anticipation setup and that video will also show you how to do it if you don't want to do it this way. You just scan for a stock which is up or down less than 1% and that way also you can find. So that way you don't have to go through 700 stocks and you can just like and find uh, the one which you are looking for basically very quickly. So pull back here, minor pull back. So as you keep going down, what you'll see is that this NC keeps on increasing. As the NC keeps on increasing, uh, those are stocks which might already be having a breakout or a breakdown for that day or they had a wider bar for that day. So they're not necessarily going to be good anticipation setup. So that way also you can decide not to go once the NC goes below certain level. If you don't want to do this much effort, you can just decide to look and I'm just going to look at every day, the top 25 by NC. And that's all you need then like in a top 25 by the lowest NC and whatever setup you can find in that or you can decide to go through 50 and find the one in the 50.
as you see the nc is 120 now so they are like not you are not going to find many good setups unless they are high price setups in this now going forward So now these are all almost breakouts because these are up or down $2 uh, yesterday or on Friday. So. That's the one, high priced one, 317. Six thirty five. And so you have like twenty seven stocks, but that's not all twenty seven is not what I would be personally interested in. So once you have this first cut, if I have to reduce this. I always look at the higher priced ones, uh, that's my territory, I like trading higher priced stocks, so solar age, it might be good. So I would boil this down to couple of stocks which are like in a setting up very nicely kind of thing, this one. Stock is more choppier, so I'm not going to go there, PCRX, yeah, that moves. So I boil it down to three or four ideas and those are the one which I just focus on. Uh, I'm not 20, all 27 I'm not going to be monitoring personally. I only monitor four or five and those are the one which I will have order ready, everything ready in the morning. If they start breaking out or they show some signs of breakout, then I want to get the, into them as fast as possible. So these are the four or five, Solar Edge, PCRX, LNTH, and NOVA I'll be focusing on. Uh, so same way you can do this on the bearish side. In order to do this on the bearish side, you can like set up an universe, which is TI-65 is bearish. Uh, but uh, you can also find bearish setup and the bullish can also because you see some of the stocks start breaking down. So if you want to do it on the bearish side, you can like, you know, you're better off on the bearish side looking at the positive bars. So here for this one, uh, this is liquidity is true, TI-65 is below. Uh, there's a double liquidity condition here, 0 0.95 and price is above $3, right? And buyout is true to eliminate any stocks which is getting a buyout. And then you can go through stocks like this and that's a short, right? And if it breaks down from here, it's a short. And so on and so forth, you keep going and look, keep looking for setups. And if you see setups which are looking good as a short, potential short, uh, that's like and if it breaks down from there, that might be a short. And you can find shorts. Shorts also you can find like that. Uh, typically, if you are going to find shots, look for a straight down move and then counter trend bounce rather than a very choppy. This is a very choppy move. So uh, much better is to look for something which is straight down and counter trend bounce. Those are the ones which are likely to be better. And he here, you don't need to go through everything. You can just look at the one which are positive. So here, like an M. not many. So Wendy's looks good there. So you don't have any stocks which are showing up because most of them went down last week, right? And many of them went down. So we are really looking at a couple of them here. I think EPAM 
Air Corp, which also like is not such a high quality setup. CC that looks good, and Wendy's. So those are the three which you can add to your watch list. And there you have a watch list. So here on this particular thing, I was like in a, not showing you, but here these are the three: EPAM, CC, and Wendy's, which are the one which look good here. And the scan which I used for this was like. Liquidity is true, TI-65 is less than 95, and buyout is true, and then sorted it by price, and only looking at the positive bars, because if you're going to short something and it is already negative, then you don't want to look at it, and that way you can find bullish setups, you can find bullish setups, you have a watch list for Monday, and if the trade works, uh, you get in early, if you can get in early, your stop will be early, and... Uh, if your risk is low, then the stock just needs to move a little bit for you to make money from that particular thing. So anticipation, if you want to do it this way, which is ANTS++ plus plus kind of a method, you have to create a watch list of all the stocks which have momentum and then go through them and then manually select setups.